Ben! <laughs> Joyous scenes in Bolton Glass after Eddie Dunbar, the hottest property in Irish cycling, scorched across the line to register a second home win of this year's Ross. It has been a great week for the locals and the party spirit was in full flow at the stage start in Dungarvan. The dancing of Brian McChrystal and national champion Damien Shaw got the seal of approval from spectators, both human and animal. Clemens van Kouser's lead was slender to say the least, just two seconds in it, so he was prepared for the flurry of attacks that began immediately. The first one to stick once again featured Lau the Say as Brian McChrystal, but unfortunately for him it was joined by Nicodemus Holler, the only person in the race with more mountain points than Brian. Holler mopped up the first two KOMs and that particular battle was over. So attentions turned to the overall race. A big chase group, which contained many of his GC rivals, forced Fankhauser to join in. Holler clipped away on his own in Mount Leinster, but a very select group of five, three Australians, Fankhauser and Eddie Dunbar, reeled him back and moved clear. In scenes reminiscent of a grand tour, these five powered up one of the most infamous climbs in Ireland. They made short work of the Cat 1 ascent, and it was clear that the stage winner would be in amongst them. Fankhauser's teammates were burnt out behind him, and three of his four rivals in this break were within 20 seconds of his race lead. That's pressure, but the Austrian is coolness personified. On the rolling roads into Bolton Glass, he shadowed every move. The men from down under couldn't put one over, and they swept into Bolton Glass altogether. The sprint was on, and the pressure switched to Dunbar. A second Irish stage victory of this year's Ross was demanded by the home crowds who have turned out in force to roar him through every town and village. The pocket rocket went early, jumped clear and had enough charge to see it through. A reward for his aggression this week and for those who've backed him. I had goosebumps yesterday going through some of the towns, some of my hometowns and it was just, yeah, it was unbelievable the sport I have. and. Uh, so I suppose all I'm going to do is just thank them for the sport because it spur does spur me on a lot like and uh, yeah I'm just happy that I can give the Irish people something to shout about. This will make pleasant reading for the Dunbar family, his team boss David McCann and the wider Irish cycling public. The young gun hit the target. Dunbar may have won the battle but Fankhauser is still winning the war. His relaxed demeanour belies the vice-like grip he has on this yellow jersey. Today we made a very good move. Um, so it was a good day for me, for the, for the team, I think, um, and yeah, we will see what, what happens tomorrow, I hope we, we can keep it now. His lead has been extended by one more second, scant reward for a titanic effort. Hindley and Hamilton are now his closest rivals. Dunbar climbs to fourth, but Damien Shaw lost time today by missing that decisive break. He slips to fifth, 58 seconds back. Tomorrow's eighth and final stage is the 147 kilometres from Kildare to Skerries. Five categorised climbs in all, including the three times they go over Black Hills on the three loops around Skerries. Race starts from the post office in Kildare Town at noon.